All right, folks, welcome to another beer review, sort of in the uh, Christmas series, um, if I can actually get these videos uploaded, recording this on Christmas Day. Um, just been to see family. We're not having like a Christmas dinner, we've got like just a big spread on here at the house. So yeah, we're gonna have our main meal tomorrow. And uh, yeah, so it's just a bit of a, a lazy, sort of Christmas, as I've said, not really feeling the the Christmas spirit. I mean, today's been nice, don't get me wrong, seeing family opening presents, having good food, we had a nice fry up. And uh, yeah, so it's somewhat clawed back. Uh, apologies for the uh, low quality on this video and uh, the fact that I've not washed my hair. Very lazy Christmas. Um, plus, I can't really bother putting all the lights on because it doesn't justify it because it's still bright outside. But uh, we've got a nice sort of glowing fire effect with a candle behind us and we've still got the Christmas tree up. So yeah, anyway, today we're going over to Schlenkerle. Been a long time since I've had anything um, from Echt Schlenkerle. And uh, yeah, so this is, I'm not going to read it because the writing's so small, but it is their Schwarz beer, which is a relatively uh, new release that they've done. Uh, we're using Alder Wood Smoke. 4.2% ABV. There's something Christmassy um, about Schlenkerle for me. I mean, the Merzen is just a flawless beer. Uh, I got this and uh, picked up a bottle of the uh, the Doppelbock, which is very much a Christmassy beer. Although the first time I ever tried that, uh, when I was getting into beer, I thought it was awful. Uh, but then I grew up. But yeah, there's I don't know. There's something, even though it's not necessarily festive. There's just there's just something about breweries like Schlenkerle. And uh, yeah, so I heard very good things about this. I wouldn't expect anything less. So yeah, we'll see what this gives us. In fact, I've got a few German beers, um, mainly from um, Trembling Madness. And then I did a cheeky little trip to uh, Manchester and went to um, Beermoth and got the Aventinus Icebox which again, I've not had that for a long time. So very much looking forward to cracking that open at some point. So we've got basically five days um, to upload Christmassy beers and then we've just got, you know, they'll just throw them up, whatever. But um, yeah, so this is conscientiously Christmas for me. Anyway, haven't got the correct glassware for this, but I don't think it matters too much. Looking very nice in the uh, snifter. Pretty much jet black. Um, you're probably going to get some like brownish hues if you hold it to the light properly. Got some little bits and bobs in the oven. Um, so hopefully I can get this done without burning it. But yeah, we've got loads of crisps. An obscene amount of crisps. Very much looking forward to uh, opening these uh, truffle flavoured Super Bomb. Anyway, I digress. On the nose then. It's got a little bit of like a, a treacly sort of aroma. The smoke is there, but it's a little bit more subtle than some of the other beers that they do. A little bit of like a toffee licorice aroma. There is smoke there, don't get me wrong. But it's not in your face. It's evident, but not in your face. Older wood, I'm not too sure what the specific characteristics of older wood would bring to this i'm sure on the uh the blurb on the back it'll go into good detail but the, i'll put the link in the description down below and sometimes it's good to go into a beer not really knowing too much about the ins and outs of it so you can at least see uh, what you detect from it i never learn anything though but it is what it is but it smells really really nice it's subtle it's very very subtle i would say it's not the most aromatic or in your face beer especially with it being a smoked beer. But I'm not bothered at all. As long as it tastes good, it looks fantastic. Let's give it a taste. Prost. Mm. Oh, it's there. Oh yeah. 
creeps up. Schwarz Bear itself has a slight sort of like char-like character anyway, I find. So I think that the subtle smokiness complements that really, really nicely. A little bit of a bitterness, very, very subtle sweetness. So maybe that's that specific uh, type of wood doesn't really add too much of a sweet flavour. But I'm getting like a, a nice sort of like licorice flavour coming through. Lovely body for its ABV. Nice and light, but it's got this sort of like sticky velvetiness to it. Oiliness, I should say instead. It's a very nice Schwarz beer, and it's a very nice smoky beer. Although, for my preferences, I like the smoke to be a little bit more in your face uh, and evident. Almost to the point where it's too much. Um, but, like the, the Mertzen, because that's got that sort of like smoked meat sort of character. Uh, that's never going to be too harsh. But that's the sort of like level of intensity I like. But sometimes a subtle smokiness, especially in the confines of a Schwarz beer. I think it works remarkably well. Yeah, bags full of licorice, the more I'm thinking of it. Just like a plain but strong licorice. Subtle smokiness complements the characters you get from a Schwarz beer. That roastiness. Oh yeah, this is very, very good. And you know what? You could like cook a beef joint in that, slow cook it in some of that. I think a good, I've never cooked with Rauch beer before. Um, I've, ages ago I did, I did a sausages braised in a um, Doppelbock which got very, very messy. Um, but yeah, I could imagine like a hearty, meaty dish using a beer like this uh, for the base of a gravy. Oh, would be fantastic. Really, really would. I mean, people are making uh, ham joints with Strongbow dark fruits, so I don't see why you couldn't make a, a nice beef joint or like a beef stew or something like that, or sour braten with uh, a little bit of um, this uh, smoky Schwarz beer. One thing I will say, it's not like absolutely mesmerising, in your face, a flavour sensation. Um, I don't think it was intended for that at all. I think they just thought, let's do a Schwarz beer and we'll try a different sort of smoke. I don't know if they've used um, Elderwood in some of their other beers. Um, but I think this works beautifully, and uh, for the weather, for the season, for Christmas, it, it appeals to me, um, and it does feel festive -y. Um But yeah, that's really, really nice. I would happily, happily have this again. And I need to get more German uh, Schwarz beers, because they're always a treat. I think my favourite one that I've ever had is the Koenig Ludwig one. Um... He's getting memories of Germany again. Went out with um, my, well, my partner at the time, went out with her family to this restaurant uh, in sort of like the, the hills in, um, in the outskirts of a city called Castle. And uh, they went to this restaurant where the menu obviously changes um, depending on the season and what they get in week from week. So I did like really hearty, I think it was like a, a deer dish had Koenig Ludwig Schwarzbeer to complement it, and it was just a magnificent. Um, and I, it's just a shame I don't go to places like that here in the UK or even attempt to do a dish like that myself. But anyway, beautiful, beautiful stuff. I think it's the subtlety that works with this one. So some people might drink this and think, oh, it's a bit boring. That's not the point. Um, I mean, some people might genuinely think it's a boring beer, which is fair enough. But it's not the most intensely smoky beer, but 
even though it goes against my love of intensely smoky beers, I think on this occasion it works perfectly. Blended beautifully in terms of flavours. Nothing too strong left on your palate. A little bit of a charry smoky bitterness on the back end. Gets the job done. Anyway, this is a very grainy, low quality review. Have you ever enjoyed it? I hope you've been enjoying these uh, Christmassy videos. Um, I didn't get as many uh, uploaded um, or diverse as I thought I would, but do you know what? It's been a long time since I've actually wanted to put effort in this channel, so maybe 2024 could be my year. So hopefully we can get a few more of these done before the new year. But yeah, I hope everyone had a, a lovely Christmas. Um, you know, it's not always a great time of year for people. Um, I know a lot of people have recently lost, you know, partners, come out of relationships, lost family members um, through circumstances, you know, all sorts of things. But, you know, if you're lucky enough to have good people around you, then just just saving them. And, um, yeah, it's not all about spending shit tons of money on presents. Uh, we've not done that, and it's been a nicer Christmas than, you know, we I, I actually thought it would be. Um, so I'm feeling a little bit more festive -y. Um We're going to have a nice buffy, have a few nice beers, and um, feel absolutely shit tomorrow, but have a lovely meal on Boxing Day as well. So... Happy chappy, but unfortunately I'm in work on the next day. But then I'm off again until the new year, so can't complain too much. Anyway, thank you for watching. If you've tried this, let me know your thoughts, opinions down below. Um, I want to get the red log and I want to get the fast and beer again, because I remember that being gorgeous. But Schlenkerler, one of my favourite, favourite breweries. And uh, this is an absolute winner from them again. Anyway, let me know your thoughts, opinions down below. And um, yeah, hope you... Not feeling too rough today. Bye.